Hi guys, Wandersun here. In this tutorial I will teach you how to create custom reusable widgets without the cube painter. We will just use only Python style sheet and the format method to customize the parameters such as background color, handle size, handle color, and style of the slider. This will even be the slide bar style of our new interface that is under development, Pi One Dark. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and leave your like. To start the tutorial I have here two standard slide bars that we will use as the basis for our custom widget and a simple 500 by 500 pixel window using Pi Side 6 and containing the slider bars and two labels to print the values of each one. Let's start by creating a folder called Pi Slider that will be our package, create a file called init.py and another called Pi Slider that will be our custom widget. Copy the modules Pi Side 6 to the file Pi Slider and create a class also called Pi Slider which will contain the class Q Slider. Doing this we will inherit all the objects and interface of the standard slider of the QT. After that start the class and add all these parameters shown in the video. These parameters will be responsible for containing the objects such as background color, size and positioning that we will apply to the style sheet. After that we will use super to create an inheritance relationship between a base class and a derived one. In the init file import this class that we just created, this will indicate which class should be the main one in our package. Once this is done, we can import our package into the main file and also change the default slider for what we are creating. See that the standard slider is displayed. This is because our class is inheriting all objects from the queue slider as we need. The next step is to place the style sheet inside a string where we will use the format method to replace the parameters we want inside the string. I'm going to paste a style sheet into the string. This style sheet is the same used in the Pi Dracula project, but with double keys to not generate problems using the Python format method. You can acquire this style sheet by opening the main UI project in Qt Designer, which is found inside the widget called Style Sheet. Just copy and put inside the string as shown in the video and replace all single keys to double keys as I am showing in the video. After that we will create a new string that will receive the string we just created followed by the format method and apply it to a set style sheet function to add the style to our widget. Note that when you run the application, the style is applied correctly. See that if we go to the main UI project in Qt Designer we can see that it is the same style that we are using within the Pi Dracula project. If you want to learn more about how to use QSS which are the styles used by Qt widgets to change the appearance of each widget, you could search here on the channel that there are several videos where I teach step-by-step step how to apply these styles. Like the custom scroll bar and custom buttons videos. After that copy all the parameters that we just created inside the class Pi Slider and paste it into the format method below, done that change the names of the parameters so that they do not repeat, in this case, I will use the underline to say that they are internal objects. After that, we just need to replace each parameter of the style sheet with the parameters we just changed within the format method. If you want to use the same ones as shown in the tutorial, just pause the time lapse and apply it to your project. When running the application we see that an error is generated because a parameter has the wrong name, just change and run it again 
and we will see the application working correctly. After that we have here our custom widget working where we can reuse wherever we wish. The advantage of creating these custom widgets is that we can modify their parameters at the time of import, making the whole process much easier and without having to rewrite the entire stylesheet again. In this example, I will completely change the appearance of the slider bar just by changing a few parameters as shown in the video. It is also possible to change all color parameters as shown. Remembering that all of this is just an example and you can customize it to find the best way for your application. Sometimes it is not worth the trouble of recreating an entire widget using the QPainter function as it is possible to obtain a very cool result just by customizing the standard QT style sheet. And we finish this tutorial here. But don't close this video yet. In the last video was the public launch of the project Pi Dracula, where I created a modern interface where you can use as you wish in your projects. The download link for Pi Dracula is available in the description of the launch video. The project is published on GitHub with a MIT license. In this same video, a new project called Pi One Dark was introduced, which will be the new interface that I will launch here on the channel and will be entirely based on custom widgets. In the description of the first announcement video for Pi Dracula, you can also find a brief tutorial explaining the functionality of the main functions of the project. The Pi One Dark will be based on the IDE interface of the Atom Code Editor. The interface called One Dark, as well as Pi Dracula, was based on the Dracula theme created by Zeno Rocha. Thanks to all Patreon supporters, thanks to you, these projects are being created, helping me to dedicate more time to all these projects. See you in the next video.